I'm basically asked her like, why you don't vote me? You know what I'm saying, on some Will Smith, on some Will Smith shit on, on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Why you don't want me, man? Like, <laughs> that's why I asked her like, why you don't want me? Like, I asked her, did she want me alive, you know? Uh, would you even care if I passed them off? You know what I'm saying? Just wonder, for real. Damn, I'm in the same hoodie that I was in when I did my last video. I don't care. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another video. So, before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And, um, if you're new, welcome to the league. So, <laughs> I know I took a little hiatus on, um, YouTube. The last video I was speaking about, you know, why I took my hiatus. Well, not why I took my hiatus, but, you know, how I'm feeling good and things like that. Uh, which is still accurate. Um, today I wanted to speak about the journey I've been on and what I've been learning. So y'all know last year, probably the worst time of my life, um, I was going through some things internally. I'm reflecting this year. First of all, I'm in a way, way, way better position. I'm much happier in life. Um, things that I do now make way more sense. I'm a little more structured. Uh, I'm not depressed, thank you Jesus. I'm not homeless, thank you Jesus. <laughs> and, um, I'm not desperate for anything, but love for myself, right? I just wanna learn how to completely love myself properly to where I know how to love someone else. So for those who don't know, you know, my mom didn't help raise me with my dad and my stepmom. Uh, my stepmom is my mom, period. I just want to make that clear. Uh, but the my biological mother, you know, we have a, a funny relationship. Um, recently, one day, you know, honestly, around this time, I always it's always kind of rough for me. And I honestly think it has everything to do with retrograde. Y'all thought I was capping last year. There wasn't no cap to it. Retrograde, the moon, just things changing, the universe changing and things like that. It can have, it can put a toll on you because especially if you into spirituality and, and learning yourself and, and things like that, you start to vibrate different and you get to see more things. And you know, it's unexplainable unless you're just in that person's shoes. So, one day I was just a little, you know, in my feelings or whatever, just reminiscing on last year, although I am in a way better position, you know, last year was rough. So I was like, man, I just don't feel like I fully know how to love, you know what I'm saying? And I, I didn't understand my love language, right? Hell, really didn't even know it was a, a, a science to this. Really didn't even know love language was that serious, right? So the way I was raised, I wasn't raised off of touch. Um, my daddy probably gave me a hug probably about five times out of the year at that time. He, um, hustler, hustler still is. He hugged way more now, but hustler for sure. Um, it wasn't too much I love yous, it wasn't no kisses on the cheek. It, it, I didn't get all that. Um, and that's how I was raised. So, not only did I not get that, being with my biological mother not raising me was an issue too for me. And I'm like, damn, where's she at? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the problem? What I did? You know what I'm saying? Didn't really understand. And um, my dad has a way of explaining things in a man's way. So. I wasn't one of them kids that grew up with my biological mother and, sh and, and my father was missing. I grew up with my dad. My mother was missing. So it's just totally different. So this year, about a, a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, like, damn man, I don't know how to love, bro. At least I feel like I don't know how to. Like what, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Um, it was bothering me, y'all, you know? And I just I just said, I'm just gonna reach out to my biological mom and ask her. Basically ask her like, why you don't want me? 
You know what I'm saying? On some Will Smith. On some Will Smith shit on, on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Why you don't want me, man? Like, <laughs> that's why I asked her, like, why you don't want me? Like, asked her, did she want me alive, you know? Uh, would you even care if I passed them off? You know what I'm saying? Just wonder. For real. So I'm grown, you know what I'm saying? You can you keep it high. You can be like, girl, I really don't know. I had you and all, but I don't know. I, I ain't know what she gonna say. So, she calls me. She goes on a tangent of her and my dad meeting and what they went through, how they went through it. Just not what I was asking for. It just wasn't what I was asking for. So I spoke to my dad, told him what happened or whatever. I didn't really speak to her how I wanted to. I just let her talk. Just wanted to see if I was gonna hear something different. I didn't. So, I spoke to my dad. He was like, yo, call your mama on three way. I'm like, what? <laughs> For why? For why, daddy? I don't wanna do that. <laughs> he was like, bro, call on three way. Chill out, you'll be all right. Call on three way. She said some things about him he ain't agree with. So he wanted to address those things. And he like, yo, tell my daughter you love her child. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I really don't care if they watch this or not, y'all, I'm grown, I, I can express what I want to express. I, they, I, they both know that. Um, so, <laughs> she was just like, you know, what we spoke about wasn't the same as what me and him spoke about. The narrative changed. So, mind y'all, I don't know, just to be real. I'm just like, all of what we talking about has nothing to do with what I wanna know. Why can't I love, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I don't care what y'all went through in the past, that has nothing to do with me. My dad was saying the same thing, like, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, why can't I love now? Or why does it feel weird to love now, I guess? Um, to love other people. I'ma go into that, and um, she was just kind of straight to the point on everything. Talking over me, straight to the point on things. And kind of wasn't understanding where I was coming from. And I am a very straightforward person. I was raised that way. My dad, my dad can break down anything. Like, hold on, hold on, no. Cause I mean, it only takes you 45 minutes to do that. You know what I'm saying? And you did that in about 47. So you had about two minute grace period to handle your business and do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? Not literally in about that, but just that's how he could break things down. It is from point A to point Z. That's what a lot of people don't like about me because I can break it down. I see it before it comes. I know if I'm gonna be cool with somebody for a minute. I know if the vibe is good. I can feel your energy. Now I can really feel it. Now I can feel it in about two to three minutes. I know if this is gonna be for me or not. Even with a potential mate. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what's up. And I know if it's gonna fail. See me, I was the type of person to stick with it if it was gonna fail. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. This person's cool. I'm just gonna, you know, play my role until it's over. I ain't like that now, y'all. I absolutely not. If it just ain't gonna work, it's just not. You know what I'm saying? Period. Friendships, relationship, period. I, I know my worth now. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. In that aspect, I know my worth. The love part. I'm just like, yo, what is it? It was bothering me. So, they, you know, they going back and forth saying what they saying and I'm listening. And, um, uh, it was just a situation of where I felt like she was trying to be spiteful. Um, and she claimed she wasn't, maybe she wasn't. But how it happened, I felt like she was. And it's just no compassion, no consideration, no love. For real. Y'all know last year, I was hurt, child. Mad, cussing out, uh, all kind of stuff. Um, oh, well, hell, on the internet. Because I, I hadn't spoken to her. And when we was on the phone, it got heated. Because I'm just like, girl, what, what don't you get? If I'm telling you 
I don't feel loved. I don't know why. Can you just tell me why? Right? Sounds simple. It ain't that simple. It's simply not that simple because if she don't know how to love, how the hell is she gonna teach me how to love? Although she may be convinced that she knows how to love and all that, I'ma just say she ain't know how to love me and she still don't. I stand on it, that's how I feel. Um, so now, as an adult, cause I can't be scorned and bitter with this all my life. I, I can't do that. I'll never prosper, I'll never grow. So it's just like, you know, what is it with you now? Cause really I got my answer. Child, she don't know how to love me. That's just it. She don't know how to love me. She, and, and really not taking care of me, she don't know me. Just being real. So, my dad, I know how my dad is. You know, he just straight to the point. He's a man, he, <laughs> straight to the point. Listen, I love you, baby. You ain't gotta do all that, you'll be all right. You know, life goes on, you gonna learn with time. That's my daddy, you gonna learn with time. Learn it through life, for real. That's how my dad is. Okay, that wasn't enough for me. So, I purchased, well, I didn't purchase, I actually got it free, this book um, called The Five Love Languages. And I got an audible, cause I'm just not the best reader. And not that I can't read, I want to. I can't sit there and just like read and actually get through the whole thing. I'm gonna get bored, I don't wanna do that. But when I'm doing 101 things, I can listen to the book. So I'm listening to the book, you know, and it's making a whole lot of sense on why my relationships haven't gone the way they've gone, why my friendships haven't gone the way they've gone. Uh, you know, it's a thin line with me between love and relationships. I mean, excuse me, uh, friendships and relationships. Very thin line. The only difference is you're not having sex with one. You know what I'm saying? So, me listening to the book, I'm like, dang. That makes sense because y'all, I'm a giver. Um, I'm a giver and I'm a person that loves to help. I help, 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 help. Until there ain't no more help. Especially if, if you don't want to help yourself, I can't do it. It's a lot of people who claim they want help. There's a lot of people who claim they want uh, success and they want to just be great. Girl, if you, if you really don't want to be you're just not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're just not going to be, so. Uh, having friendships and us just not being on the same wave is why they haven't gone that way. Is, is why they haven't been, uh, I guess, successful. But they're not meant to be, you know? It's people that's branches, it's people that's lead, and there's some people that's, that's a root, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be there. But branches and leaves fall off. So some people come in, they serve their purpose, and they leave. And that's that's fine. I'm cool on the friendship part, I get that now. The relationship. I'm like, man. You know, when I ask myself what type of woman I want, and I've spoken, I've spoken about how I feel about how I want somebody to treat me online. And everybody got their opinion. Today, wholeheartedly, I could care less about what anybody thinks, because you're not me. You don't know what fills my cup. What do you call it? My, uh, my love tank. If you're not with me, you don't know what fills my love tank. Your opinion doesn't matter. So, I like to fill a woman's love tank by flowering her with gifts. I'm a person that if you said, I want them shoes last week, you're gonna come home next week, and when you get off, the shoes gonna be on the bed. You know what I'm saying? Go get your nails done, go do whatever you gotta do. I'll see you later. 
Well, let's go eat. You love cheesecake. Let's have cheesecake every Friday. Um, acts of service. You need help with something? I'm gonna help you. You need me to pay for it? I'm gonna pay. You need me to do that? You need me to do this? You need me to do that? I am a hands-on person. I got you. Long as we good, I got you. But that goes for friends and relationships. But if that is not being reciprocated, it ain't gonna work, right? So people were saying in the comments last year, you know, you shouldn't do things for people when you want something in return. So if I buy you a pair of shoes, I do not expect you to buy me a pair of shoes. If I buy you an outfit, I don't expect you to return to me with an outfit. Now I'm that type of person. You do one thing for me, I do six. You can't outshine me. You know what I mean? I, I want to take care of you more than you taking care of me. Because you don't have to do it, right? But if I'm providing for you, and I'm flowering you with gifts, and I'm doing my best to make your day or to make you happy, I think you should do the same for me. I'm a very simple person. If I say I want some birria tacos, and I want some birria tacos, and I get a knock on the door and them tacos left the door and them take something, I'm happy. Okay? They got all kind of stuff. DoorDash, Uber Eats, you can make it happen. But you have to want to make it happen. Or if I say, man, I'm a, if I could have some chocolate right now, oh, that would make my day. Oh, that's crazy because earlier I got you some chocolate because you said that yesterday. It doesn't have to be a $10,000 gift. It's just a thought that counts. You know what I'm saying? You can make me a car, fold it up like origami, and say, I love you. I, my heart would smile. Happy as it. But, not to say all women haven't been that, you know, for me. Um, especially acts of service. Any woman I get with, as an entrepreneur, you somehow just become an assistant. That's just how that works. If I'm an entrepreneur, so what I want to get into is quality time. My love language is not quality time at all. And I think that is where I'm falling short. And I don't even want to say falling short. Well, really in the book, what he's saying is, if you're not a quality time person, that don't mean you can't become a quality time person, right? But it's like, what if you don't want to become that? But a woman needs time. A woman wants some time. So, and not that I don't ever want to spend time with you. I love working. I do. Working, I feel like you have to stay busy to, in order to keep a sane mind. My brother told me a long time ago, the mind is the devil's, uh, idle mind is the devil's playground. So when you're sitting idle and you're not doing nothing, he playing with you. And that's the truth. You ever just, not just not doing nothing and the devil just like you just you start hearing stuff and all kind of stuff it's just a bad place to be so i always want to be busy when i was young that was my issue about 19 20 21 22 sitting idle girl i was it was a spiritual warfare going on in my mind so i ain't want to go through that no more you know what i'm saying like let me just stay busy so i'm always busy Sometimes being up under your woman ain't enough. Just because I'm up under you don't mean you're taking my mind off that. Especially if we're not having a fruitful conversation. I love conversations of substance. I can't just sit and talk about nothing. That drives me crazy. Like, a lot of women like to talk about what happened when they got off. And don't get me wrong, I'll get into it. <laughs> what? Girl, why? Why would she do that? Whatever. But what else are we going to talk about after that? What book did you read today? What did you do productive? What did you do to work on your business? What did you learn today? That's what I'm into now. So, my love languages is acts of service, 
information because of conversation. And you know, I like giving compliments, compliment me too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people like to give but don't like to reciprocate what's being given. And you find yourself just being on a one-way street. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just not fair. But I ended up learning my love languages by reading this book. And don't get me wrong. I have a little more to go in the book. And I have a lot more to learn. I probably need to hear it again. Um, but acts of service, affirmations. That's really it for me. I'm not a quality time person. And don't get me wrong, that don't mean I can't be one, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I need a, 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 a woman on a different level. There's a woman out here, there's so many black women out here that can challenge you. So many smart black women out here. Um, and I'm not taking away from all the other women. Black women, that's, that's who I date. Um, you can learn so much, especially when they into talking and, 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 and ready to teach you something. There's a lot of black women millionaires out here. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. And I don't know y'all, that's just where I am. But I'm, I'm, I'm still learning to love. Um. I'm, I've gotten way better with loving myself. I love myself. I love me for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> At this point. Um, working more on my body and my breathing and um, my thinking and my structure. And that's why I took the hiatus too because I was just so all over the place, but I already told y'all this. Um, with structure and self-discipline, you can work magic, you know what I'm saying? So I had to sacrifice some time to do that. I'm still doing it, but I think it's well worth it. Probably the best thing I've done all 2020, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. Um, it will be new content on the channel. I have several videos that I'm about to go edit right now. And y'all gonna see a bunch of new stuff. You're gonna see new people and new things. Uh, I'm going to the mountains this weekend. Just look, got a lot of good stuff coming up. And I'm happy. And I'm learning how to love. That. That's the good part. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer. I needed to do this video. Speak. Speak fluently and, and express myself. I hope y'all heard everything because this water loud, but I really don't care. <laughs> um, but anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Let me show y'all my scenery. Oh shit! That's what y'all hear in the water. All right, I'm out.